automated testing right from VS Code. AI can automatically write all the test scripts, run it, give me the report, and I can pass the report to AI agent to fix all the issues. All your test results in a centralized platform. The video recording or the front end testing is automatically stored as well. The AI written test code will be automatically modified based on the code or the UI changes. As you can see, I'm using VS Code Copilot Chat. You can use model of your choice. Here's my custom made application for my project tracking. When we develop this using vibe coding, it results in loads of error. Manually identifying the issue and fixing the issue requires more time and it's tedious as well. But when you add automated testing within this using the power of AI, it can automatically identify the bugs within this application and I can pass the report to AI agent to fix all the issues. The future of AI power testing with 90% accuracy boost and 10 times faster testing. Traditional tools requires manual analysis and planning, human interpretation needed. But with automated AI testing tool, it auto generates from specs, AI reads and understand the intent. Traditional approach requires weeks to prepare automated testing for a big application, but this requires only minutes. For this, we are going to use TestBright. It's easy to get started. Using MCP, you can install this directly on your cursor, Windsor for VS Code. Considering VS Code is a MCP compatible IDE, I'm going to use this configuration in VS Code. And I'm going to take you through step by step how you can add this testing MCP to your VS Code application and ask it to test using test Sprite. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Thanks to test Sprite for sponsoring this video. First step, sign up to test Sprite and you can get started for free. So clicking get started. Now I need to test my locally running application. Test locally MCP. Here, quick install. I've got three different steps. First is to generate the API key. Next, I'm going to use other IDEs, this configuration. So copying this code and coming to my application. So here you can see, I create a folder called .vs code in that mcp.json, clicking on that. There I'm pasting my configuration. That's it. Our MCP got added to AHA. And here is the application running locally on my computer. I developed this using vibe coding by asking AI to generate the application. To make it accurate, I need to test this. To do that, press command I to open the chat. Here I'm going to drag front end and the back end application both together. Then I'm going to choose agent mode, test using test sprite. Next I'm going to click this icon and I'm going to choose automatically start MCP server when required and clicking send. Also when you open the configuration mcp.json, you can see start the MCP server. So clicking on start and now you can see there are totally six tools and it's running. It's asking to approve the MCP server, clicking allow. Now this open this testing configuration. So I'm going to choose test my front end, adding the required password and the port number where the application is running. You need to add the product specification doc. So uploading it, prd.md, opening it and clicking continue. Now upload it successfully. I'm going to close it. It requires more approval. So I'm going to allow all the MCP tools running here. So it's really nice that now MCP tools are supported within VS Code. Now it's giving the code summary, the config, and I don't need to do anything. So I've got the code summary. Now I can start running the test. So I'm going to say start. You can also choose whatever model you want to use. You can see the progress here. It will automatically try to write all the tests and all the test results will get automatically uploaded to the dashboard. Here's the dashboard and you can see it's automatically populating the results. So if I open it, you can see the front end tests are running here. You can see that some tests already passed. So let me try this user registration success. So first of all, here's the written code by AI. So even if your UI changes, this can automatically detect that and rewrite the code for you. So here is the test result. I can preview directly from my dashboard. So clicking on play. So it's trying to log in with the username and password which I provided and trying another account and it logged in. So that is all good. Similarly, here is another test which is trying to create an issue. So it's automatically navigating to create the issue. So it's creating an issue, adding the required information and it's all added. So the test is passed. So all your past results you can see here even if something fails, it'll be recorded here. Also, it'll be available in VS Code. So now you can see here, test execution completed with the report here. 
you can see the available report. So next I can do is pull the report here to the chat interface and I can say fix the identified issues. And this can automatically go and find and fix the issue. That is really nice. It identified all the issues. Now it starts fixing it. This is all really nice. This is with VS Code inbuilt copilot. But if you use Gemini Assist, you can do the same. You can add your MCP in this location for Gemini Code Assist. And then you can tag these front end and the back end folder and ask test sprite to identify and test the application. So here is my Gemini settings, Gemini slash settings.json. And I've got my test sprite added here. So this also works the same and fixes your application directly from your IDE. Now we got the fixed application, which you can try. Do try and let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like test sprite, I also create another video which integrate test sprite with cursor. I'll put the link in here and I will see you there.